Hi guys! Welcome back to our online discussion. Our topic for today is all about bank reconciliation. So we'll start. Kapag sinabi nating bank reconciliation, sito it, the, the main account na ating uh, i-consider dito o yung bida na account dito is yung tinatawag natin na cash in bank. Because yung cash in bank na to is itatry nating i-reconcile. Right? So, there are two things na kailangan mo munang malaman dito. Na yung dalawang bagay na yan. Number one is yung tinatawag nating cash in bank in the general ledger. And meron din tayong tinatawag na cash in bank in the bank statement. So, kapag sinabi nating cash in bank in the general ledger, may apat na laman yan. Ano yung apat na laman nito? Meron tayong tinatawag na Beginning, balance of cash. No pa, meron tayong tinatawag na book receipts. Kapag sinabi nating receipts, yan yung mga inflows. Right? Or lahat ng nareceive natin na cash during the period, nandyan din yung tinatawag natin na book disbursements. Ano naman itong mga book disbursements na to? Book disbursements, these are, on the other hand, all the outflows or lahat ng cash na lumabas sa atin. And last will be the ending balance of cash. Next, kapag naman sinabi natin bank statement, alam naman natin kung anong ibig sabihin yan. Yan yung statement na nare-receive right, ng depositor every period. Right? Normally, every month. So, meron din tong apat na laman. So, ano yung apat na laman ng bank statement? Meron siyang beginning balance. Meron tayong tinatawag na bank Receipts, ibig sabihin yan lahat ng idinagdag ni bank sa cash in bank natin or sa account natin. Meron tayong tinatawag na bank disbursement. Then lastly, meron tayong ending balance. So almost the same lang sila in essence. Beginning and ending, then pareho silang may receipts and disbursements. Now, listen up. Gusto ko muna makita nyo yung picture or yung journal entry na ginagawa nung dalawa para mas magets natin to. Alright? So, sito it, na sa libro ni depositor, again, sa libro ni depositor, every time na nagde-deposit siya, the journal entry is to debit cash in bank and then to credit cash on hand. So, kapag meron siyang cash on hand at dineposito niya yun sa banko, the journal entry is to debit cash in bank. Ano naman ang journal entry? natin sa libro ni bank. Sa libro naman ni bank, the journal entry here is actually to debit. Alright? Cash, kasi nakareceive siya ng cash, pero hindi yun sa kanya. Kanina yung cash na yan? Kay depositor yun. That is why the entry here or the credit here is liability to the depositor account. So, credit liability account, alright? Because nakareceive siya ng cash, pero hindi yan sa kanya. So, bakit ko pinakita ang journal entry na to? Pinakita ko yung journal entry na to for you to understand yung pinagkaiba ng receipts ni bank at na receipts ni book. Bakit? Because ang receipts ni book or para madagdagan yung cash in bank, anong ginagawa ni book or ni depositor? Dinidebit niya yun. So, book receipts now are actually our book debits. On the other hand, para madagdagan ni bank yung cash in bank, kinikredit na yung liability account. So, bank receipts now are actually our bank credits. So, magkaiba. Pareho silang receipts, pero magkaiba ang tawag. Book receipts are the book debits, while bank receipts are the bank credits. Right? That's an important concept na kailangan mong magets Because kapag hindi mo nagets ang bank reconciliation, Medyo lagot na tayo pagdating sa proof of cash. Maluanag ba yun, guys? Are we good on that? Needless to say, book disbursements now are actually our book credits and then bank disbursements are actually our bank debits. So magkaiba, yung dalawang yan. Maluanag? Ideally now, if every time nagdi-debit si bank, Nagdi-debit si depositor, rather, nagkikredit si bank. Every time na nagkikredit si bank, nagdi-debit si depositor. Meaning, any increase or decrease in one account 
must have a corresponding decrease or decrease on the other. Ibig sabihin, ideally now, cash in bank, all right, per book. Again, ideally, cash in bank per book must be equal or always equal to our cash in bank per bank statement. So ideally, dapat always equal yung dalawang yan. But there are situations wherein, all right, these two aren't equal. Kailan yung nangyayari? Nangyayari yan kapag meron tayong tinatawag na reconciling items. So we have what we call the reconciling items. So what are these reconciling items? Reconciling items are the unrecorded items and the errors in recording some items. Ngayon, ganito. Right? Pag-usapan natin si reconciling items. So kapag sinabi natin reconciling items, meron tayong dalawa. Meron tayong tinatawag na book reconciling items and then later on, meron tayong tatawagin na bank reconciling items. So focus muna tayo kay book. Kapag sinabi natin book reconciling items, these are the items right, that are not yet recorded by the depositor and also the errors committed by the depositor. So, meron tayong tatlong book reconciling items. What are the three book reconciling items? Meron tayong tinatawag na debit memo. And later on, di-discuss ko yung dalawa pa. Focus muna tayo sa debit memo. Gusto ko magets mo to. Kapag sinabi natin debit memo, these are the items already debited by the bank. Ibig sabihin, nag-debit na si bank but not yet recorded by the depositor. Alright? So, nag-debit si bank, hindi pa nag-record si depositor. Kapag nag-debit si bank, anong ginawa ulit ni bank? Nagbawas ba siya? Nagdagdag. Sabi natin, kapag nag-debit si bank, disbursement yun. So, nagbabawas siya. Ibig sabihin, debit memos now, since hindi pa nare-record yan ni depositor, eh nagbawas na si bank. Nang sabi ko kanina, any deduction here must have a corresponding deduction on the other. Ibig sabihin, debit memo now is an item of deduction in the balance per book. Wala na ba? So what are the examples of debit memo? Number one will be the NSF. Checks received. But take note, if yung NSF check redeposited on the same month, hindi na po siya magiging debit memo. So, dapat yung NSF, alright, not redeposited the same month. The second example will be the technically defective checks. For example, absence of signature, erasures, ano pa, alterations, etc., etc. Number three is yung most famous example, which is yung tinatawag natin na charges or bank charges. And then number four is yung mga reduction or payment of loan. Because minsan naka-auto-debit yung utang natin sa bank, therefore, yung payment of loan, binabawas na yan ni bank automatically. So once again, these debit memos are deducted in the balance per book. Next, punta tayo sa pangalawa. The second reconciling items is yung tinatawag nating credit memo. So ano naman itong mga credit memo na to? Credit memo, these are the items credited by the bank but still not yet recorded by the depositor. Alright? Ano nangyari kapag nag-credit si bank? Kapag si bank nag-credit siya, that is a receipt on its part, therefore, nagdagdag si bank. Ibig sabihin, kung nagdagdag na si bank, hindi pa nagre-record si depositor, credit memos now are item of addition in the balance per book. Anak? So, anong examples ng credit memo? Examples of credit memos are the following. Number one. Number one will be the note receivable collected by the bank. So, kapag si bank, nag-collecta siya ng note receivable, asahan mo, credit memo yun. Right? Number two is yung tinatawag natin na proceeds. Alright? Of a bank loan 
Ibig sabihin, kapag umutang ka sa banko, normally, kinikredit yan kasi sa account mo. So, proceeds of bank loan is a credit memo as well. Then, number three will be the mature time deposits transferred by the bank to the account of the depositor. Ibig sabihin, kapag may time deposit tayo na nagmature na, asahan mo na ikikredit yan ni bank sa atin. Then the last book reconciling items, because sabi ko tatlo to, number one will be the debit memo, number two is credit memo, and then the number three or the third one is yung tinatawag natin na errors. Committed, of course, by the depositor or errors of the depositor. Ano naman treatment ng mga to? Errors of the depositor may be an item of addition or an item of deduction sa balance per book depende sa ating analysis. Ibig sabihin, kailangan mo itong i-analyze later on. Ano, anak? So, those are the three book reconciling items. Ano, anak? So, punta ngayon tayo sa bank reconciling items. Again, let's now move on sa tinatawag natin na bank reconciling items. So, kung meron tayong book reconciling items, meron din tayong bank reconciling items. So, what are these bank reconciling items? Bank reconciling items, these are the items not yet recorded by the bank but already recorded by the depositor. And these are also the errors of the bank. So, bank reconciling items, meron din tayong tatlo. Ano yung number one? Number one is yung tinatawag natin na deposits in transit. So, what are deposits in transit? Ano yung mga yan? Deposits in transits, these are the collections already recorded by the depositor but not yet recorded by the bank. So, nagdagdag si depositor pero hindi pa nagdadagdag si bank. So, kung dinagdaga ni depositor yung account niya, si bank hindi pa nagre-record, the IT now are item of addition in the balance per bank. So, before ko iwan, Si DIT, meron muna akong isang bagay na kailangan yung malaman. Maraming nagkakamali dito. Deposits in transit, always keep in mind, is inclusive of cash on hand. Sir, paano po kapag hindi mo pa dinideposit yung cash on hand na yan? So even though hindi mo pa dinideposit yung cash on hand, since ang assumption natin is idideposit mo rin yan sooner or later, sit to it that cash on hand is considered as deposits in transit. Next, punta tayo sa pangalawang bank reconciling items. Ano yung pangalawa? Yung pangalawa is yung tinatawag natin na outstanding checks. So, meron tayong tinatawag na outstanding checks. So, what are these outstanding checks? Outstanding checks, these are the checks from the word itself recorded by the depositor. So, nag-record na si depositor but not yet recorded by the bank. Right? So, nagbawas na si depositor pero hindi pa nagbabawas si bank. Ano ang nagba yun? So, kung nagbawas si depositor, hindi pa nagre-record si bank, asahan mo ngayon na outstanding checks are actually item of deduction sa balance per bank. Again, item of deduction ngayon yan sa balance per bank. Ano ang nag? Ngayon, listen up. Right? Here, sa outstanding checks, meron tayong tinatawag na certified Checks, right? So certified checks are excluded, all right? So total outstanding checks. Again, certified checks are excluded. So outstanding checks. Why? Why it excluded? The certified checks, na yan, because certified checks. These are the checks accepted or certified by the bank, indicating sufficiency of fund. Meaning, binawasan na ni bank yung account natin nung si certified nya. Yung check-in na yan. So, okay na. Nagbawas na rin si bank. Right? Pero kapag hindi na siya kasali or hindi naman siya kasama sa outstanding checks, ignore mo lang si certified checks. Right? So, dapat excluded yan sa total outstanding checks. Then, the last item. Again, the last item na kailangan nating pag-usapan is yung mga errors. Alright? Committed by the bank. And kamukha lang ng errors kanina. These are items or ad of additions or deduction in the balance per bank depending on the scenario. Ibig sabihin, kailangan mo yung i-analyze. Ay ba tayo doon? Have you good on that? Then last, before tayo mag-solve, last na lang. 
yung tinuro ko sa inyo, which is this one, are actually, right, the adjusted balance method. Pero meron tayong three forms of bank reconciliation. So, ano yung tatlong bagay na yan? Number one, or first method, is the adjusted balance method. Again, number one, is the adjusted balance method. Yun yung tinuro ko sa inyo. Alright? Number two, is yung tinatawag natin na book to bank. Right? Balance method. And then number three, is yung tinatawag natin na bank to book balance method. So we have three methods used here in bank reconciliation. So yung tinuro ko nga sa inyo kanina, that's the adjusted balance method. Pero yung book to bank, back to book, pareho lang yan. Nung adjusted balance, it's just that. Squeeze ang gagawin natin dyan. So para mas magets mo lahat ng pinag-usapan natin dito, let's try now to solve some problems.